Hello and welcome again to investingsuccess.ca in another of our short video installments in which we take a look at human emotion, astrology, and the financial markets. Planet Mercury is the closest of the planets to the Sun and to a heliocentric observer, that is to say an observer situated on the Sun. That observer would notice that Mercury orbits the Sun uh, in one complete revolution in three calendar months. Back on the 29th of March, on my blog site, www.astrologicaltrading.wordpress.com, I issued a blog post in which I said, be careful, there could be some very special behavior that comes upon the Dow Jones Industrial Average as we go into the month of April. How did I make that, that observation? How did I make that call? Well, nothing special really. I was just looking at the Mercury cycle. I knew that right at New Year's, January 2nd, we had started a new Mercury cycle, which aligned very well to a significant high in the Dow and to the new moon at the time. Now, this Mercury cycle took us immediately on a corrective decline into the month of February, but then the markets regained uh, all of that lost ground uh, as the Mercury cycle progressed. Now, take a look at this chart and you'll see that as the Mercury cycle came to an end, yes, we were retesting that January high, uh, but since then we have done some severe technical damage to the Dow Jones and uh, right now the trend is down. So what else was it that led me to believe that we would see some rather special behavior in that first week of April? Well, the answer is the McWhorter method. Uh, Louise McWhorter was a noted trader and astrologer and she published uh, the McWhorter theory of stock market forecasting back in 1937. And if you read her, her book and follow her methodology, uh, what you're looking at every every new moon is to see whether or not that new moon makes significant hard aspects to significant planets. And as you can see, at the end of March we had a full moon, um, and it does in fact make a 90 degree hard aspect to planet uh, Jupiter, and a 90 degree hard aspect to planet Pluto. And so seeing that, I immediately jumped to the conclusion that the lunar cycle that will take us through the month of April uh, would be a volatile one. And so it comes as no great surprise to me to see the Dow selling off uh, in accordance with um, this, uh, these hard aspects uh, to the new moon and to the end of the three-month Mercury cycle. Now many people are calling for gloom and doom and an absolute bear market and, and all hell breaking loose. Uh, I'm not convinced. Uh, I, I do think that we're going to see some very significant volatility uh, in what remains of the month of April, but I don't think it's going to be all to the downside. These are the kind of things that I talk about uh, to my subscribers in my weekly astrology e-alert. Um, it's stuff like this that I've talked about in my published books. I recently unveiled the uh, McWhorter Study Guide, um, which is actually designed uh, to be read hand in hand with her 1937 book. And the examples in, in the study guide will, uh, will help you quickly come up to speed on using her methodology. And so that's uh, the end of this uh, brief video installment. So as always, you can find me at uh, www.investingsuccess.ca. And as I say, my blog posts uh, will be at uh, www.astrologicaltrading.wordpress.com. And you can also find me uh, on social media, uh, most notably on my LinkedIn discussion group. And uh, you'll quite often see my, my uh, brief little posts go out on Twitter. So thanks for watching this video installment and uh, enjoy the duration of the month of April. Have a great day. Take care.